Hi, I'm here with LCDM. Today we're going to be taking a walk through how to install your electric add-on kit to our slide gate. Your electric add-on kit should include two limit switches, three eight seal washers, a pack of limit switch trip brackets and hardware, limit switch mounting bolts and keyway, gearbox bracket mount and it should also include your Bravo 90 degree gearbox model number shown and also your motor when whether you ordered single phase three phase and the voltage of the motor as well here's a list of tools you will need to complete this task Here's the general overview for what we plan to do. First, we're going to remove the dust plugs from the gate. We need to move the shaft and the pinion gear. We also need to add in the limit switch trips. We will need to add the gearbox mounting bracket and the motor as well and the limit switches. So to start, we're going to take the dust seals and remove them from both sides of the gate. Next, we will have to relocate the pinion gear. This is done by using a 9 16 wrench or socket and removing the bolt that holds the hub to the shaft. Once the hub and the pinion gear are free, relocate it into the bottom hole using the same bolt that you just removed. So to sum up what we've just done, we've taken the pinion gear and shifted it down on the shaft. The reason for this is so we can move the shaft in order to mount the motor and gearbox. But before we move the shaft, we must loosen the two 3mm Allen bolts. Do this on both bearings on either side of the gate. The next step would be to move the shaft. We're going to move it in this direction by using a block of wood and a hammer. Once the gear gets close to the rack, you can then use your hands and fingers to align the gears to mesh properly. Be careful that you do not pinch your fingers in this process. Be sure that the gear and the rack are perfectly flush on either side. Once the gear and the rack are aligned, you can then retighten the Allen bolts. Be sure to snug them and not over tighten them. Next, we will mount the gearbox bracket. To start this, remove the hardware that was included in your manual original gate. You will not need the seal washers anymore, so they can be discarded. Once all the carriage bolts are removed from these locations, you may then install the bracket. Be sure that you install the bracket with the flat edge down. Reuse the original carriage bolts with the new seal washers provided in the kit and tighten down the bracket. Next, we will install the limit switch trips. Included in this hardware pack should be four limit switch trips and four outer shims along with two quarter by 20 bolts. These are the limit switch trips. There should be four of these brackets per kit. These are the outer shims. There should be four of these brackets per kit. To start installing the limit switch trips, take two of the trip brackets along with two of the outer shims. Be sure when you install the motor side trip that the angled piece is toward the rear of the gate or the non-material flow side of the gate. Match the two trip brackets up and push them through the slide of the gate. You will then take the two outer shims and place one on either side of the trip brackets. Lastly, place your carriage bolt through all of the brackets. Install the nut and tighten. Again, you will repeat the procedure for the other side of the gate. 
However, this time the slanted edge of the trip bracket will be toward the front side or the material flow side of the gate. This is important because it will create a ramp for the limit switch to ride on and trip properly. We will now install the limit switches. This is the limit switch that comes in the kit. One switch and one arm per box. There should be two boxes. The mounting hardware for the limit switches come in a separate bag. Install the limit switch with the electric cover outside. Next, bolt the limit switch in place. Be sure not to over tighten these bolts. Again, we will be repeating the procedure for the other side of the gate. If your gate was ordered with the electric option, it will already have this wheel removed. You may need to remove this wheel with the add-on kit. Once the wheel is removed, leave this hole blank. Let's set the limit switch arms in place and calibrate them. Start with the lever arm in the vertical position and adjust as necessary. Test the switch by pushing on it and hearing the click of the switch. If the switch does not click before the roller hits the wall, adjust accordingly. After the lever arm is tightened, you can then test the switch by moving the slide and allowing it to hit the limit. In this next step, it would be easiest to flip the gate upside down. This side limit switch is a little trickier than the last. We will install the lever arm and finger tighten the allen bolt. Using a flathead screwdriver, we will turn the switch itself in a clockwise rotation, then back it off about an eighth of a turn. And to finish up the lever arm, tighten the allen bolt. This might take a few tries to get it right, but just keep testing the switch and making sure that you hear that click as the switch trips. Return the gate to its original position and we will install the gearbox. The gearbox should come with all the hardware you need. Using the quarter inch keyway that did not come in the gearbox kit, place it in the shaft. Slide the smaller end of the gearbox onto the shaft first. Make sure the keyway is aligned. Using the four 3 8 carriage bolts and nuts, install the gearbox onto the gearbox mounting plate. Before we can install the motor, we must remove the blue plug in the larger end of the gearbox that the motor will slide into. Once the blue rubber plug is removed, we can install the motor. Underneath the green piece of tape on the motor is the keyway. Insert the keyway onto the motor shaft and align the motor shaft and keyway into the gearbox. Start by tightening the 3 8 bolt that came already in the gearbox. Insert the rest of the 3 8 bolts around the mounting plate. And lastly, tighten all of the bolts. This will now complete the electric add-on slide gate kit. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email.